you know, I wasn't even really planning on fishing today, but I had to come down near the shore to pick up a couple tanks for scuba diving tomorrow and decided to just come along and fly a drone and see if I can find any fish hitting on the schools of mullet that are coming through. And I didn't even get to that point. I walked out to the first beach and I saw a school getting blown up. So as quickly as I could, I grabbed all my gear, put a surf rod together, got some waterproof shoes on, and I'm headed out there. Blowing up out here. Let's see if we can get him to go. You guys had any bites yet? Nice. There's some big tarpon out there. Surrounded by a school of tarpon right now. As you all know, sometimes when you rush stuff, you mess things up. In this case, I rushed and I got my pole caught in a tree. And just a minute ago, apparently I messed up my FG knot and lost my leader in my first hookup. So hopefully this guy will do me a little better. And hopefully now that I've tied a double uni knot, I have a better chance of staying attached. Looks like the fish are still absolutely thrashing out here. Let's see if I can hook up. So I'm standing on the first sandbar out here. And these fish are just eating and eating. And eating. But so far, I haven't seemed to eat mine. And they're right next to me. One just hit my line, but not the lure. Oh, there's a hit. There's a hit. I see why they use fully sealed reels for this. Do you have any artificials or anything? I got a swim bait, but it's small. Elephants eat peanuts, you know, man. Okay. Elephants eat peanuts, you know. <laughs> yeah, truly, I came out here to fly a drone, but I happened to have a rod with me. I literally drove from Seattle to do this, though. Yeah, I've been dreaming about it for a couple of years and never got the timing right. Yeah. So, we'll see. They'll leave the thing dead, but I just got to <laughs> You might catch a shark. Okay. You might catch a shark. Or bird. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna. There's another one. Holy cow. I was gonna switch out the hooks, but I didn't. I didn't. Man, my heart's pounding fish these tarpon are eating are tiny and decided to switch to something also pretty small. This is the uh, six owner flashy swimmer with uh, the zoom fluke, one of my good old bass fishing lures. We'll see, see if that makes a difference. Still cast okay. It's also a single hook so I feel like I'll be able to set the hook just a little bit better. But who knows? I think I would know it if it was a tarpon. Oh, it is a tarpon! It's just a little one! It's my first ever! 
Oh no, it's not. It's like a something crazy. <laughs> it's just a giant ladyfish. Wow. Look at that thing. I didn't even know they got that big. Look at that. Holy cow. What a fish. Crazy. There she goes. Right here. I don't think he's gonna eat my lure, but I'm gonna throw it in front of him just to see. And we're back at it. Looks like there's a bigger school over here. At least a tighter school. Well, I guess I learned a lesson today. It's a great day out fishing, you know, we, we hooked into a tarpon, which was definitely the goal. Um, but apparently I put my keys in the wrong pocket of my backpack. It's a waterproof backpack, but uh, the, key, the keys were in a pocket that only have a little flap to cover it. And it definitely destroyed the key. So I am stuck here on the side of the road, waiting for a locksmith, just hoping that he can find a key. He doesn't seem to be able to find a key, but crossing our fingers. Wish me luck. Well, we certainly learned a lot today. It's been about eight hours since I was first stuck in that parking lot and I just finally made it back to my apartment. And even then, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a key for that car, so. <sighs> we learned a lot today, that's for sure. First and foremost, that keys and salt water don't mix. But, we also learned that there are some tarpon out there and we're gonna catch one. Well, it's the next morning. You can probably tell I'm not quite as sweaty as I was last night when I got in. And I ended up not sleeping very well and uh, woke up really early with you know, some ideas. So I went out and I, I ripped the key apart again and started re-soldering some of the stuff on it. Took some hand sanitizer because that's the most alcohol-like thing I could and scrubbed the board down, got as much of the corrosion off, and ended up soldering in a little battery from one of my one of my little multicopters. And walked out there first light this morning, and somehow the car started. And so I went straight to the dealership, and they had some bad news for me. Apparently, because of COVID, keys are back ordered for months. So I came back home and have been working on it and working on it and I now have a key it looks kind of like a key and it actually starts the car so hopefully we can continue continue driving if not I've got a backup plan but it's not exactly elegant but wish me luck